Today, I am honored to be joined by our Director of Bureau of Street Services, Adele Haji Khalil, uh, and friends of the uh, Arab American community as we celebrate April 2021 as Arab American Heritage Month. Arab, Arab Americans have enriched our society by sharing the entrepreneurial American spirit, enhancing our freedoms and our prosperity. Americans of Arab heritage are very much a part of the fabric of this nation and this city and the diversity and beauty of Los Angeles. Many are accomplished leaders who work here in our city departments, part of our city family, enhancing and protecting the quality of life for all Angelinos. And Madam President, we do have a special video. Okay, give us just a second. April is Arab American Heritage Month, where we celebrate the culture and many contributions of Arab Americans. Arab Americans come from 22 countries across the Middle East, the Gulf region, and North Africa. The Arab culture that Arab Americans still hold dear are faith, family, community, and hard work. They share these same values with many other immigrant communities in the United States. Ahlan wa is welcome in Arabic. Hospitality is very important in Arab culture, and this holds true for Arab Americans as well. Arab Americans immigrated to the United States starting as early as the late 1800s. Arab Americans are diverse. 65% of Arab Americans are Christian. 35% of Arab Americans are Muslim. There are about 4 million Arab Americans living across the United States, and they are an important part of the American tapestry and fabric. California and Los Angeles have one of the largest Arab American populations in the United States. Arab Americans have contributed to our communities in significant ways, from sciences to art, from movies to music. Many are accomplished politicians, Many are scientists, educators, and innovators. Many are poets, writers, and journalists. Many are leaders in medicine. Many are entrepreneurs. Many are professional athletes. And most recently, Arab Americans led the fight against COVID-19 from developing the Moderna vaccine to leading the distribution of the vaccine. Let's join hands in appreciating the culture and contributions of the Arab Americans in our country and in our communities. Thank you, uh, Madam President. We also have a message from Mayor Garcetti. Hello, I'm Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti, and it's my honor to recognize April as Arab American Heritage Month. This is the first year the U.S. State Department has designated an official month to honor Arab Americans. But make no mistake, in Los Angeles, we celebrate Arab American culture and ingenuity, creativity and heritage every single day. In this city of angels, we feel the extraordinary contribution of Arab Americans all around us, from art and entertainment to science and technology, from those fighting COVID-19 in our hospitals to those serving Angelinos in the corridors of City Hall. And just a few miles from here, Arab American students at UCLA founded the first Arab sorority in the nation, Epsilon Alpha Sigma, also known as the Empowered Arab Sisterhood. I'm proud that Los Angeles is home to one of our nation's largest Arab American communities, a community of kaleidoscopic diversity, a tapestry of many traditions, many backgrounds, and many nations of origin. This month, we lift up the gifts that Arab Americans have given to our city, to our country, and to our world, and speak out against discrimination and hate against them. So, on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, 
have a happy Arab American Heritage Month. We stand with you. Uh, colleagues, in honor of Arab American Heritage Month, today I introduced a motion directing the Bureau of Street Services to identify surplus equipment that is badly needed in Beirut due to the ongoing efforts to repair and heal after the disastrous explosion that occurred in August of last year. A horrible tragedy, the large explosion occurred at the port, causing at least 215 deaths, 7,500 injuries at least, and over $15 billion in property damage, leaving an estimated 300,000 Beirut residents homeless. The people of Beirut, like the people of Los Angeles, are strong. I know that they will come back better than ever. And like us, they're diverse and from many backgrounds, including Arabs, Armenians, Kurds, and Palestinians. Indeed, these are the original foundations on which the sister city relationship with Beirut was founded upon. And I was so honored to be there uh, to witness that back in 2006. I'd now like to introduce, Fer well, Ferris Webby is unable to be here today. Uh, he is a friend to myself, a friend to us, uh, and he had a lot to do with pulling this celebration together. But what I'll do now, since Ferris is unable to be here, I introduce our friend uh, and our leader of the Bureau of Street Services, uh, Adele Haja Khalil. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman Farrell. Thank you, Mayor Garcetti, Council President Martinez, to all the council members who work hard every single day, keeping Los Angeles safe, uh, making our communities better for everyone. Uh, you know, uh, on behalf of the Arab American community, Ferris Webby wanted to be here yesterday, but today he couldn't be here. And he sends his, his regards. Um, on behalf of all of the Arab American community in Los Angeles, uh, thank you for this recognition. Uh, diversity and inclusion is what makes Los Angeles a great place to live. Arab Americans are proud to be part of this beautiful and colorful tapestry that we all call home, we call Los Angeles. As the late Martin Luther King said, whatever affects one directly affects all. I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. This can be more important than now as we pursue racial equity and racial justice and we fight discrimination against everyone, against all. We all are one and, and this is important for all of us. As immigrants, we join our brothers and sisters that we share the same foundation, which is hard work, family, faith, all that is the same as the Latino community, as, as, as the African-American community. We all have the same thing in common. We all work hard. We all work hard for a better life for our children, grandchildren. We all work hard with dignity and pride. And that's what's important, to work with dignity and pride. So I'm honored to be joined by many, many on the virtual uh, world listening. Uh, many of the Arab American community in Los Angeles, uh, in our city workforce, business and community leaders, I know uh, Ferris couldn't be here, but also the LA, Los Angeles, Beirut sister cities is with us also virtually, and also the Arab American Association of Engineers and Architects, and many, many, many uh, of organizations and community, and they thank you for the work you do every single day. Let's all stand together to uplift every community, to uplift every Angelino in this city. We're together we make this place a better place for all. So thank you for this honor. Hopefully next year we'll see you in person with lots of food and a lot of music, so thank you. Adele, thank you so much uh, for elevating the visibility of Arab, and Arab Americans. Uh, you are uh, an amazing ambassador, not only as uh, the director of the Bureau of Street Services, uh, but just uh, as an ambassador for Arab Americans in Los Angeles and everywhere. So we thank you and your colleagues and Ferris, uh, my friend as well, if you see this later, uh, we so value your incredible work here in Los Angeles and bridging uh, the gaps between here and uh, the Arab world in the Middle East. So colleagues, I am glad to recognize April, 2021 as Arab American Heritage Month. Thank you.